Last year, Fei Fei galloped away with the Hong Kong Derby for trainer John Sykes. This year, a horse carrying the exact same brand as Fei Fei, it has to be you, will be giving Sykes his second shot at Derby glory. It's uh, really strange and uh, uh, this horse came from the same farm, the same breeder and uh, as I say, they've got, he's got the, the same brand on their shoulder um, so it was rather um, unusual when he, he walked in the stable and uh, Vicky Tang asked me to, to train him and he may be a derby prospect was the first thing I noticed so hopefully uh, history can repeat itself. They might be bred by the same person, but they have very different bloodlines. So Fei Fei being a Falkirk, which is more along the sprinting line, whereas mm. it has to be you as a Volksrad, and we know on breeding alone, you should run out the Derby trip. Well, he gives every indication uh, that he's going to run the distance. It's not something that I've been concerned about since he's arrived. He's always um, given us the, the idea that, oh, he's going to be better when he gets a bit more ground. So. Now he's, he's given the opportunity, we'll be able to see what he's, what he's made of. But, um, uh, you know, he seems an adaptable sort of a horse. He, his uh, runs have all been, been sound. He hasn't done anything wrong since he's been here. And um, given a fast run race or a slow run race, uh, he should be able to perform well. With his win last year, he led and won. Uh, whereas his most recent win at Group 1, which was at cricket score odds, uh, yeah. he settled a bit further back in the field, so he's shown that he can be quite adaptable to however a race pans out tactically. Yeah, he's got good gate speed, he hits the gate rather quickly and he, he puts himself there immediately. Uh, I'm not convinced that that's the way to get the best out of him, even though he's one doing that uh, in a lower grade. But I think in top company he's got to be uh, travelling very well underneath his jock and uh, get in, find his rhythm, get into his gear, and then uh, he can probably sprint at the end of a race. And I, th I think that's the best way to ride him. Your other derby contender comes from a different side of the world, the Northern Hemisphere, the Irish bred in Dowling. Yeah, well, he, he come here uh, uh, with not great fanfare. He was a horse that just qualified, and uh, Mr. Wong wanted to, to bring him in and try him. Um, given that uh, he has some staying ability, uh, we were a little bit concerned about him when we were trialling him before he raced. Uh, he didn't show pace and uh, you know, we were a bit worried about his future in Hong Kong. But then a couple of races at Happy Valley and uh, he switched on pretty quickly and, uh, and got a win. He raced over 2200 metres uh, in Happy Valley and uh, went back in the field. He circled the field with another run at mid-race and went on to win quite handsomely. So. He's got no doubt about the 2,000 metres. He's already won a race further than that in emphatic style. So, um, yeah, he's a, he's a dark horse in the field. He hasn't got the ratings that, that the, the good chances in the race have, but uh, he's there to get prize money. How do you compare the two horses? They're very different in so many ways uh, as types and the way that they race, but as genuine derby contenders, which do you rate as your stronger hope? Well, it has to be as already won his uh, Group 1 uh, against the Hong Kong horses, so uh, there's no comparison on paper uh, with their form. Uh, what they do on race day, of course, is a different matter, and, and uh, the trip uh, could make a, bring them closer together. As I say, endowing is, uh, is definitely the Dow horse um, of the field, I suppose. So he gets an opportunity to, to see if he, he can stand up for that. Tactically, or as a result of tactics, we've seen some very interesting outcomes uh, in the main lead-up races to the Derby so far. Therefore, it makes it a little bit difficult to measure these horses up against one another. They're a mixed bunch, aren't they? Too? Yeah, it's a big variety of uh, different types of horses in the field. Um, but I think um, with all racing and all good race horses, I mean, it's up to them to make the adaption to the circumstances of that race and go on and win it. And that's what good horses do. You know, they don't sort of have many excuses. Um, the good ones to stand up and win no matter what sort of race you put in front of them or, or the style of the race that's presented. So um, 
uh, it's a good variety of horses, as you say, and they're all probably wanting different types of things but in their races. But um, it's up to them to overcome that and win. To win the derby is important for any trainer, but for you last year to win your first, what did that mean for your career? Oh, it meant first? something for me because it's probably pretty frustrating to win seven championships and not a derby. So uh, at least I've got one. <laughs> I've got one. That's a, that's a start. Um, but uh, yeah, that's right. It, it, it was a little bit of a frustration for me. I was lucky to get a runner in, in previous years. But um, anyway, we've got one, so I'm a little bit more relaxed about it now. Good luck in 2013. Uh, what is your pick of the two? Oh, it has to be, yeah.